Good. Hi, I'm Barry John. Welcome back to Let's Play Descent 3. I have two co-pilots, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Laylight, just hanging out. I'm Solitaire, back after some technical difficulties. And welcome to the first secret level of the game. Uh, it's short, it's very atmospheric, and I have no idea what's going on with half of it. Yeah, look at that beautiful timestamp. I had no idea videos could be less than uh, half an hour. Now, it's see, here's an alarm that doesn't want me to uh, want me to make shove off my speakers. It just kind of fades into the background. Yeah. I think this circular starting area is kind of really like Descent One or Descent Two. Mm hmm. But here's is a little a bit of a control room and a full map. Let me just. Giving you the full map early enough so you can make use of it. Nice. Well, this particular secret level is pretty much a recharge level for the most part. There's not a lot in the way of enemies, uh, it's full of goodies. In fact, I'm pretty sure that after the end of this level, I will only be missing one weapon in the entire game, and I won't pick that up for another two more levels. You know, this music's pretty good, too. It, it's hitting the good notes. Yeah, it is. You know, we, the, the, since this is an optional mission, there's um, probably not really much story in it, I guess. So, uh, you know, they're just free to cut you loose. Do whatever you like. Yeah. But basically, we're going to be heading down three corridors, one, two, three, in order. Uh, or sorry, three, two, one, in order. Uh, so I was about to uh, say, what happens if you go into them in the wrong order? It won't let you. The one-way one corridors... Uh, are flagged to various uh, locations where you've gone. Oh, so you gotta switch them off then. Yeah, so you gotta go through, find area three, find area two, find, and then go to area one. Is this is this meant to call back to finding colored keys in the old games? Nope, not this one. But uh, this is just me, you know, enjoying easily killable enemies for once. Yeah, that flamethrower guy certainly has a lot of range on it this time around, but at least he gives you plenty of warning before he starts firing. Oh. I missed that sound. Which one, the melee enemy? Yes. The melee screech? Yeah, that one. It's nice to just have a playground to uh, really make use of that uh, plasma cannon now. Yep. So, EMT, mass driver. I didn't really show it, but uh, there's a, you could just, uh, there's actually two ways down into this area, and that's the second way. Are we going to be seeing some more sniping with that thing? The mass driver? Uh, not at this point. This level's too... The mass driver is a weapon that never really comes into its own because it's a sniper rifle. Oh, and returning classics, mega missiles. Oh yeah. You know what that means. You gotta find an excuse to use two mega missiles in this level. And smart missiles. I'm full. It's a recharge level. I'm full. Alright, find some targets. Class there 1 drone, in this level. total annihilation. Yeah. But, uh... Alright, what was I saying here? Like, the mass driver never really comes into its own because the, of the way the levels are designed. Uh, sniper option, like the sniper option, just is such a rare option that it feels like a waste of a weapon. Yeah, the it's ideal for really big, slow-moving targets, and there don't really seem to be a lot of those in this game. 
Even the uh, or large if, enemies seem or to be the, kind of nimble. Or if the outdoor sections were large enough that you could actually, you know, abuse the whole uh, super long range thing. There we go. There we go. Ooh. I think you hit the wall behind him that time. Yeah. Maybe you tagged him with a little bit of the splash damage. Yeah, let's Who be cares? let's be He's generous dead. and say I... that. Yeah, but it. He's dead anyways. Oh, napalm rockets. Jeez. Neat. Yep. When they explode, they cause fire. Because somebody in the development of this game really loved their fire engine. The fire physics. You know, we've seen a lot of red fire and orange fire. We haven't seen any blue fire in this game yet, have we? No, we're not going to. I mean, this is a 90s game. Fire is red. We haven't seen oh. any red ice either. Or black ice, thankfully. Yeah, this is me trying to go back to collect that one of those mega missiles, and it's like, nope, the one-way corridor is now going in the opposite direction. No go. Now, here's my problem with the, the like with using the uh, Phoenix here, like the, the smaller gun, the smaller ship, faster ship. I've only got 12 concussion missiles, when normally the uh, normal pyro can hold 15. Oh, so now, maybe that would have been the trick, would have been to take the um, the opposite one, the really big one that had the huge ammo capacity, so that way you could carry more mega missiles out of here. Here's the problem, though. Uh, if I, I go from here, say I've got the 12 concussion missiles here, and then I go back and next level I start flying the pyro, which can hold 15. I start with 12 concussion missiles yeah, in figures. the pyro. What is the upside to this ship again? It's fast. Er. That's it. So you trade off with less uh, storage capacity for missiles? And your weapons do less damage in general. There's a reason why I, I'm going to be. I'm still going to stop using this ship after this level, basically. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a good boss killing uh, ship, although it's probably pretty decent in the levels without bosses. Or as a multiplayer weapon, like a multiplayer ship. Also, this guy is equipped with an Omega cannon. Jeez. Um, was that an after effect of the Omega cannon or just a strobe light gone bad? That's basically an effect of the Omega Cannon. You'll notice what happened to my shields because, well, that's basically what it does as an auto-seeking weapon. Yeah, good thing well, you were playing I on a lower you. difficulty. If you were playing on higher, uh, that might have just melted you. Yeah. I hate the, I hate those flying fishes. I hate those flying fishes. What's so bad about them? Uh, they are tiny. They are next to impossible to hit. And they... They love to just ram you. Because they're in your face, well, small target, in your face, and look what they do to my shields. Jeez, that was awful. Just, you know, for yeah. such an important number, it's so small. I miss when those guys just exploded. Then they only did their damage once. Yeah. And they're fast, so it's hard to kind of get away from them and not range them, too. I mean, in theory, you can get away with using mines against them, but it's just so hard to pull off. Well, as usual, Actually, want... the answer in Descent is kill it before it even notices you're there. Yep. Well, I guess that's one way they can up the difficulty of the secret level is, um... I don't know if we're going to be seeing these uh, fish guys later, but, you know, the classic... Oh, we'll be the... seeing them. Preview Don't of worry, the top we'll enemy. Them. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, this looks odd. Pretty. That looks interesting. And the beagle is now concerned about how they're losing our signal, so... Ooh, this can't be... Hmm, this is bad. You know what? I don't think I want to be here much longer. Uh... I can't get away. 
It's got me trapped. What? Yep. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. It's eating me alive. Ah! Mission completed.